Hello everyone, Alden here with Vendors Tech. Uh, here today to talk to you about a new harness that we are now manufacturing for the MEI TRC6512 coin mix. Um, there's several issues that these coin mix can have that uh, customers encounter all the time in the field in vending equipment. Um, and it's a lot of these problems can actually be fixed by you on your own in the very machine or on the very at the very location where you have this coin mech. Um, and it's uh, all contained, a lot of the problems those coin mechs have are contained within this single ribbon cable here. Um, it goes from the back of the acceptor, which I'm going to show you in a minute how to install this correctly, but it goes from the back of the acceptor, kind of loops up and goes back down to the upper sensor board of the coin mech. And it's what um, communicates, or it's, a, it's what allows the two lower sensor boards to communicate with the uh, um, with the acceptor on the coin mech where the main board is on the back of the acceptor there. And it also connects the solenoid controls to the main board of the coin mech. And what happens with these harnesses, because it's just a very thin ribbon cable with very thin wires running through it and very, very, very small connectors um, on the end of it, you know, with very small holes, very fine holes. And what happens over time with this being manipulated and bent and plugged and unplugged and people, you know, just taking the acceptors out of the coin mechs and putting them back in and not really using care and attention to what they're doing, <clears throat> these get damaged. The connections inside here, they, they will get damaged. Uh, you can have breaks in this, in, you know, in the wire here that get damaged. The problem is MEI does not make this harness anymore. Uh, but we do. We finally were able to get these connectors, find them. You know, they're very, very difficult to find, but we were able to find them and, and find the ribbon that we needed um, and everything. And so now we're manufacturing these. Some of the issues that you're going to see if this cable on a TRC6512 coin mech has, is having problems, has failed, is you'll see coin tubes that um, are not full, but the coins drop straight to the cash box anyway. So your quarter tube won't be full all the way, but it won't fill it anymore. Um, you'll have uh, you'll have bill acceptors that disable uh, because the coin mech thinks it's out of change when there's when it's full of change, um, or or it'll disable because it won't fill itself up with change. Most all the problems you're going to have are going to be change related. So because because this is what can you know this harness connects your sensor boards to the main board, and when it starts having issues, the sensor board does not communicate um, information properly. And if you were to put uh, this coin mech on a tester, like we use SCM CT3 tester, you can actually buy the tester on our website if you want. But when you put it on a tester like that, you'll see all kinds of weird errors. If you start moving this harness around in the coin mech, um, it's going to it's gonna start throwing sensor errors. It's going to, the sensor's going to come on all of a sudden, then it's going to go off, then it's going to come on, then it's going to go off. Um, and what happens with all kinds of sensor situations like that is the change situation of the coin mech is never certain. And so the bill acceptor will be disabled occasionally because you know, for no reason, you might have a full change, you know, full changer. You might walk up to the machine one minute and the bill acceptor is enabled and walk away and the account will call you and the bill acceptor is not taking bills. And everything, as far as you can tell, is just fine. So if you're having crazy issues like this, um, this cable is uh, is what you need to try. Um, it's going to be, it is available on our website. Uh, the part number will be posted at the end of the video. You can go on there and buy it. You can call us as well and purchase this, this ribbon cable. And this video is to show you how to properly install it so that it doesn't, it's not damaged during installation and it will last as long as possible after your installation. The two most common issues you're ever going to see on a 6512 coin mech are issues related to this harness, so sensor board issues because this harness is failing, or um, tuning and calibration issues where it just won't accept, a, won't accept a coin. You drop a quarter in and it goes straight through. That can also be remedied by uh, field field tune and calibration of the coin mech, which also can be done on location. So a lot of these issues, you know, aside from the coin mech being need, needing to be torn down because it's absolutely filthy, or payout problems where it's not paying out a coin because of how worn or dirty the payout system is, a lot of these problems you can fix yourself if uh, if you have a little bit of knowledge in the correct parts like this. And so some of these things we are trying to actively provide to you, you know, ourselves and cut down on some of your service costs. So I'm going to show you how to install this ribbon cable real fast and then buy one, give it a try on one of your Cormex you're having issues with and see how many issues it solves because it solves a lot. 
Okay, here's the uh, new harness. If you'll notice, there's a red line going down one side. That is our orientation marker, and we need to pay close attention to it when we're installing this new harness because the new harness doesn't have uh, keys um, in it or anything like that, like the old one does. Um, and so, first thing we need to do is on the back of your uh, uh, 6512, you're going to take out your three screws. You want to do this carefully because sometimes the plastic, the screws, are tightened into can be old and brittle and you don't want to crack it or ruin it to where you can't tighten the screws down again. But take out these three screws on the back. <clears throat> Very carefully remove this. A lot of times, yeah, you're uh, main MDB harness is snapped into uh, this little white snap here on the cover. So pop it out of there. And this is the harness that we're replacing. It's this black cable with also a white orientation marker. So as you can see, um, if you're looking at the coin changer from the back, the white line comes down the left hand side of the harness. So we're going to use that um, as our marker when we plug it, you know, when we plug the new one in. Um, we could actually plug this in two ways. Technically, we could flip this upside down, this connection, this connector, and go onto the acceptor board that way. But as you'll notice, well, it would be really hard to route it that way for a start, but this, the old harness, we're gonna put the new one on the same way, so the, it plugs in and the harness comes down. And so unplug it straight out. You wanna pull this cover off. There's two little um, holes here where it slides on to this uh, plastic plate above the sensor board and that's kind of how it goes on straight and it's held there so you want to make sure you put it back on the same way uh, but remove the uh, harness off the sensor board as gently as you can and then we want to remember we want the harness to come down um, off the connection when we plug it into the acceptor board and we want the red line to be on the left hand side just like the white line was on the on the left hand side on the old harness so we're gonna plug it in very carefully you want to make sure you do not miss any of the pins with this and that you get the uh, harness the holes lined up plug it in gently they're really small holes and you don't want to prematurely spread apart the pens or damage the insides of these like happens on the old ones. Um, and then after this, uh, the way these, if you, you can look at the routing on your old harness, they, it comes out and down and then comes back up immediately. Um, and this is basically how it's folded in here. It would come back down uh, to the sensor board. And so you're gonna end up folding this one, routing it you know, similarly. But first, um, we need to plug it into the sensor board down here. So you're just gonna, you're gonna come straight down to the sensor board. And get it plugged in straight. Don't miss any of the pins. And we need to get this on here. And so what we're gonna do is basically right at the connector we're going to kind of fold the ribbon cable over evenly and again you want to do this gently and carefully so as not to damage the ribbon cable and once we have our little fold there we're going to slide the cover back on and you'll notice there's a there's a little milled out area here on this cover for the ribbon cable to lay flat on so once we get the ribbon cable flat here you're going to put your cover on and then continue to fold the cable back up this direction, making sure it lays flat in that milled area. And then you're gonna kind of fold it here as if, you know, it was all together. Make a little bit of a bend there and a bend on, onto the back side here. So now we kind of have the form we want the harness to take when it's just sitting in here once, you know, once the cover is back on the back of the coin mech. And once we have that there, making sure that the harness is laying in that milled area. You want to put your cover back on. Start with your bottom screw. Go 
backwards with it to catch the threads. Tighten that one down and you can put your other two in as well. I'm just going to flip it around here now so that we can see what's inside of here. So you want to stick your power, your MDB cable back into there and make sure that your new ribbon cable's coming up straight. Um, which ours looks nice and good here. And then kind of watch it as you fold it. You know, as you close it, make sure that the harness is folding well up against the wall and up against the back of your acceptor um, <clears throat> and that there's not any undue stress on it because look at how bent and folded this one is that's what eventually over time ruins these connectors um, I'm not even exactly sure where the failure happens inside of here if it's where the pins go in and spread apart the uh, you know the metal inside the holes the socket or if it's where the ribbon is, you know the teeth on those sockets punctures the ribbon cable or what but if you manipulate these connectors you have all kinds of weird sensor board issues that, that come up or go away and so and but the problem can happen anywhere on these cables just because of how thin the wire is in there so you want as few bends as possible and anytime you have to take this apart just be very careful with that ribbon cable and you'll get a long lifespan out of it make sure you don't bend it excessively in any direction make sure you fold it well and properly the first time so that it folds up nicely afterwards and uh, and then plug it in and test it and it should be good to go